So this is how you get people to love you when you're on the dating scene. I was doing it wrong all those years. <laughs> Hippopotamus is brought to us by director Edward A. Palmer and stars Ingrid Dahlia as Ruby. Ruby has had better days. She wakes up in what appears to be a decrepit old basement with the tendons in her legs cut so that she can't walk and no memory at all of what the hell's going on. She can't even remember her own name, much less how the hell she got here. She is soon informed by her captor that it was necessary to surgically gimp her so that she couldn't run off and that he has kidnapped her and she will remain his prisoner until she falls in love with him. From here we go down a path as Ruby struggles to remember who the hell she is, how the hell she got here, and what the fuck is going on. As well as trying to figure out how the hell to get out of this crazy fucking situation. Hippopotamus was a movie that I heard about quite some time ago but just now came available to see. The premise sounded very intriguing and it is. They do a very good job of letting us figure things out as the movie goes along. Notice I said letting us, not telling us. They let us see what's happening so that we can draw our own conclusion. Now there is one part that does have an exposition dump a bit closer to the end. But in that case, it was actually needed for us to get the information it was trying to give us. But even then, while it is telling us what happened, we do get to see these events and try and read between the lines to draw our own conclusions about what's actually going on. Prior to this point near the end of the movie, there is not much hand-holding at all going on here. The movie doesn't treat us like idiots. It lets us see what's happening and assumes that we understand it. It doesn't feel the need to go back and reiterate things. It shows you what's going on and it assumes you're smart enough to figure that out. I really appreciate when movies do this and don't treat me like a fucking moron. I found the story of Hippopotamus to be very interesting. The mystery of what's really going on keeps you invested the whole time. And even after you find out what's actually going on, there is still a bit of mystery to it that keeps you wondering. The end of the movie I thought was good, but I do have some questions. Namely, why did a certain character do what they did after things became clear? It made me wonder if there was something I missed, but that was one of the good things about the movie, I thought. This thing that happens takes what you think you figured out, what you think is actually going on, and spins it on its head. It makes you question everything that you've learned up to this point. And I really liked how they did that. They were able to answer some questions, give us that satisfaction, but leave that mystery in the air still. And that's something the movie does really well. It answers just enough questions so that you feel satisfied, but leaves just enough unanswered that you're wondering if maybe some of your information's not right. Our performances from our two main leads here are pretty good. The vast majority of the movie is just these two characters. However, there is a character that shows up a bit later on that is a bit much at times, but thankfully that character is only on screen for a couple of minutes. It's not a terrible performance or anything, but while everybody else is about right here, this character's way up here. As a whole though, everybody did a pretty good job here giving very believable performances. Now it's not a huge deal and you do get used to it fairly quickly, but there is this weird thing with the audio. A lot, if not all, of the audio in this movie sounds like it was re-recorded. It doesn't sound bad and it doesn't sound like it's someone else's voice or anything. It sounds like the characters' voices that we see on screen. But for some reason it just seems slightly off. It doesn't seem like that's the track they recorded while filming the movie. Once again, it's not bad and you do get used to it really quick but it did stand out quite a bit, especially in the beginning of the movie. From a technical standpoint, the rest of the movie is fairly competent. There's not a whole lot here in the way of special effects. As far as the cinematography and the overall filming of the movie, everything looks solid. Now this isn't a big deal either, but the title of the movie was an odd choice in my opinion. It is explained, but it doesn't really hold enough relevance to be the title of the movie in my opinion. But that's just me. Guys, as a whole, I enjoyed Hippopotamus. I thought it did a really good job of keeping its mystery a mystery and slowly serving up answers to its mystery as the movie went on. The ending gives us most of the answers, but also keeps that mystery going just a bit. And while I'll probably never watch the movie again, I did enjoy my time with it. And when it's available, it's absolutely worth checking out on stream. Across the street. This was a solidly made, entertaining indie flick. If you're looking for a mystery to tease your brain for the night, check out Hippopotamus and I think you'll have a good time. So there it is guys, my review of Hippopotamus. If you enjoyed and want more content like this, hit that subscribe button and help my little channel grow. If you liked what I had to say, give me a like. If not, let me know in the comments below why. And as always, stay sexy Manchester. Your name is Ruby Watts, you're 25 years old. You remain captive until you fall in love with me. The title
title of this movie, as I mentioned, is explained, but calling this movie Hippopotamus is just kind of fucking stupid. I mean, I get it. I, I do. After seeing the movie, I get it. But why? There's so many other things you could have called this movie that would have had so much more relevance. Why call it fucking hippopotamus. Is it just to be fucking weird and obscure maybe? Because I can't really come up with any other reason. So if I have one real complaint about the movie, it's that. The title. It's just kind of fucking stupid. But I guess there's worse things that can be said about it. Besides that, overall, pretty good movie. You guys can put that on the poster. Stupid fucking name. Overall, a good movie though. Jacob Anders Reviews.